Breaking, Trump just announced new FBI director and shocks everyone with who he picked. There's been much nail-biting and anticipation from the country, waiting to see who would replace James Comey as director of the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Despite the fact that everyone hated Comey before he was fired, this didn't keep the left from complaining and crying foul when the president fired him. The short list for replacements was also a source of much pain and suffering for liberals, of course, because what does President Trump do that they aren't pained to the point of death over? They included names like Rep. Congressman Trey Gowdy and the well-respected Sheriff David Clark. However, just hours before James Comey is to testify about his actions to Congress, the president has finally let the nation in on who he's endorsing for a replacement. This comes not a moment too soon since the entire country is ready to get past the much-hoped-for scandal by the left and move toward letting the president do his job. The report of the nomination came, of course, on Twitter because how else would our POTUS let us know about something like this say Donald J. Trump I will be nominating Christopher A. Ray, a man of impeccable credentials, to be the new director of the FBI. Details to follow. Via Breitbart News, President Donald Trump has nominated Christopher Ray as the new FBI director. I will be nominating Christopher A. Ray, a man of impeccable credentials, to be the new director of the FBI, the president announced on Twitter on Wednesday morning. Details to follow. Ray served as the Associate Deputy Attorney General in former President George W. Bush's administration and was promoted to the Assistant Attorney General for the Criminal Division, before he left to work in the private sector as a partner at the Washington law firm King & Spaulding. During his time in government, he oversaw the highly publicized Enron case and oversaw the legal aspects of the war on terror after September 11, according to King & Spaulding's website. He also served as Governor Chris Christie's personal attorney during the Bridgegate scandal. Last week, Christie praised Ray as an outstanding lawyer, after it was revealed that he was under consideration. He has absolute integrity and honesty, and I think that the president certainly would not be making a mistake if he asked Chris Ray to be FBI director, Christie said. Trump's choice earned praise from Norm Eisen, a Brookings Institute fellow and former ethics czar for former President Obama. Good choice. Oversaw Enron case, which I also spent years of my life on, Eisen wrote on Twitter. He was very fair. I endorse. Finding someone with bipartisan love was always going to be a challenge, but it looks like the president may have done it. Even the New York Times doesn't seem to have anything bad to say about him, Mr. Ray is a safe, mainstream pick from a president who at one point was considering politicians for a job that has historically been kept outside of politics. Mr. Ray, a former assistant attorney general overseeing the criminal division under President George W. Bush, is likely to allay the fears of FBI agents who worried that Mr. Trump would try to weaken or politicize the FBI. Mr. Ray, two administration officials said, is a hybrid pick for Mr. Trump, he is a seasoned criminal lawyer who bonded with Mr. Christie when both were young attorneys in the Justice Department, and a highly regarded criminal defense lawyer who represented Mr. Christie in the aftermath of the scandal over traffic jams that rocked his governorship. That his political skills were honed in the crucible of scandal gave him an edge over the other finalist, John S. Pistol, the former deputy director of the FBI and head of the Transportation Security Administration, the officials said. He managed to soothe and counsel the volatile Mr. Christie, a Trump ally. I've no doubt that the liberal media will be all over this, finding things to pick apart about the guy who has dared to find favor with our president, but for now it's nice to know that the wheels of justice might be moving forward and America can start putting the pieces of our law enforcement back together again. Until tomorrow, when everyone has time to dig up dirt on the guy. Enjoy the peace now, because the games are about to begin. Source, Breitbart News, New York Times. Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe, and comment because your voice matters, and visit our page on Facebook, and like them, and follow up. And thanks for watching.